Okay, here we have the Alien new project. Two point one meter wing on it at the moment, with a two fifty mil cord. It's just for uh, experimenting, see what it looks like. Basically scaled up the Wurzel fuselage, one and a half or one hundred and fifty percent. Shaped out of blue foam. Stab's a bit small, I think. Just to get a, get an idea of what it looks like. Workshop's fairly small, so I can't get around it too much. The idea of the back here is oh, let's get a ruler. From about here, I've got to shape it down to this copper pipe, and that'll be my access for my inflatable bladder. So yeah, that's the next job. Stream that down from copper pipe to fuselage size by the time it gets to the fin here, or maybe a little bit past it because I've got the taper on the fin. Get that bit glassed and then um, smooth it all out. Weakest part of the tail boom obviously, obviously is going to be here and it's 45 millimeters wide and 55 millimeters deep there. So should be a fairly tough fuselage even out of, out of, out of glass. Wing's going to be set down into the fuselage like the Wurzel. I'm not sure how it's going to be attached yet. Got to make those kind of decisions. And also, not really sure about the moulding, at what stage to make the mould. Whether I do it when I've got just the final shape, just the outline shape, before adding any wing seats and stab seats and fillets and things like that, making it very wing and stab specific, or whether to just do it with the basic shape and can then use different wing sections and stabs and things on it. Like most of my designs the tail booms probably slightly slightly longer than normal. Um, I don't know, I just I just like them that way. Whereas all the nitro, dynamite, uh, hydra, most most of them have been made with a slightly oversized well, over length tail boom, so as I can use smaller control surfaces and things. And um, that's just the way I like them, really. And here we have, and here we have the two meter concept plane plan C. This is my DP fuse. I have the DP moulds. Uh, I think this one works quite well as well. Uh, this is a 1.9 meter wing, 190 mil cord root cord. Looks a bit too small for it. Wing was the the fuselage was designed for a 230 mil cord. So that yeah, gives an idea of it. Got a good nose length and things. What I've done. I've never really liked this fuse, I don't know, I made it and then decided I didn't like it. Um, it had quite an upturned nose, but what I've done is I've shortened it a bit by turning it upside down. And seems ironic, doesn't it? It looks about right how it is, but I did have it the other way around before, that's how it was originally built. Yes, yeah, reminds me a bit of a wizard on the, on the, on the nose shape. With that same fin as on the Alien fuselage, just a little bit shorter. Yeah, yeah, it definitely works. Or I could shorten up the tail boom a bit and make it a real chunky 60 inch. Or I, I don't know, I'm quite tempted to uh, try the very much like the daisy cutter type of build that 
Aaron's been doing on RC groups, but maybe oh, keep the tail boom about the, about the length that I've got here, but make it a 70 inch wing, and that way I could try out his wing sections and things, see how they work. I don't know, it's a lot of options here, it's all up in the air at the moment. This one would be a bolt on wing of course, straight down into the wing saddle. Yeah, lots of decisions to be made, but I'm having fun.